the Schaefer Bridge, built in 1877. And um, after doing my waterfall flight, um, conversation went about trying to top it. And then um, mention of covered bridges and a light bulb went off. We have covered bridges where I live, so why not give it a shot? So I'm not worried about it whatsoever. I've got it set. I've got the app set to run uh, with low GPS. Um, I don't think I'm going to have any problem. I, if anything, maybe a disconnect. Might have to run and grab it. I don't know. But uh, I really don't foresee a problem. So we're going to fly through the bridge to the other side where I have another camera set up and running at the moment. And then we'll have the camera of the Xeno. And we'll fly through it. And then we'll uh, get some shots around it up top. And um, maybe even go under it. So let's see what we can do with the Xeno today.
think so. Um, if you notice, I'm wearing a different shirt. It's a different day. I shot that video yesterday, but I forgot my gimbal cover, so I came back today and got it and figured I'll just do my closing video here since I didn't really do one. I was going to do one at home in my office, but it's a nice day. It's not sunny. It's getting ready to rain, but uh, it's a nice, nice time to do a video. Um, so I'm going to give you some final thoughts here on the Zeno. You've seen me fly, do that waterfall fly. Um, I've done it twice now. Uh, flown a couple reservoirs. Now you've seen me fly it around, under, uh, over top, and through the bridge. Um, and I'll tell you that there was nothing easy about doing what I did here. It was hard. Um, with most any other quad, I could do that nice and slow and steady, and I could have given you some very nice cinematic shots of the inside of this historical... Um, the car going through it scared me. Uh, I could give you some nice shots inside this uh, covered bridge behind me that was built in 19 I'm sorry 1877 and um, it's really neat that stuff like this is still around but with the Zeno the minute you get in there it wants to jump to the left or right and um, there's no metal here except for the hardware uh, this is 100% wooden bridge and um, the uh, Zeno the minute it gets inside it wants to hit the side, it wants to drop, you know, when you're flying it and it, it does that descent. So the whole time I'm flying through there, when I start out, I'm fighting that descent. I'm trying to keep it up higher and up high enough and stop it from hitting the sides. And then as soon as I see light at the end of the tunnel, I'd gun it and get the hell out of the bridge. Um, and yet, most other quad I could do that and I could go through nice and smooth and easy. So. This isn't something you do with the Zeno, so, and most people don't do this type of stuff with their quads, but if this is your interest to come out and shoot things like this or get up and close to, get up close to things like I did with the waterfall, the Zeno is not the thing to do it with. Even though I did it, I really do not recommend you do it. And I'm not saying that I'm a pro or an expert or anything like that at it. Um, I got lucky. Um, I should have crashed here and I probably should have crashed into, at the waterfall as close as I got to that. So, um, the other thing that uh, is really disappointing to me right now is the new firmware 1151 got that. I called it a godsend. I loved it. It was beautiful. Everything was fine. All of a sudden now, and I don't know if it's something to do where I got uh, update on my phone, my device, or what, but um, it's constant disconnect between controller and um, uh, my device. So I'll, I'll, I'll be all set, I'll bind, I'll do my calibration if I need to, I'll do my compass, I mean my GPS accuracy test, and get ready to hand launch, and then all of a sudden I have no signal, and it does absolutely nothing. So that's really frustrating because when I go to do a shoot for YouTube, it takes me five tries just to launch it and uh, do a waypoint mission. So it's at this point right now, um, I just can't depend on the Zeno and it's completely burned me out. I, I am, I'm tired of flying the Zeno. Um, so there will be more stuff to come obviously with the Zeno. There's going to be more updates and stuff like that and I will test it and I will put it out there and do do things with it that I like to do like you saw here in this video or with my waterfall video or some things that are coming up with the Anafi. Um, but uh, man, there is a skunk here. <laughs> I just don't want him to come out spray me but god it stinks maybe I need to take a shower but um, I'm just not going to really be doing much more with the uh, Zeno so for me it's going to be uh, less with the Zeno here in the upcoming videos I'm going to do more with the Anafi more with the Femi X8 SE and then of course now I've got uh, the Parrot Bebop and uh, the A3 is coming and then Z, um, Banggood's going to send me 
a couple free quads and I'm gonna do some reviews on them they're nothing new they're just what you what you already know about and uh, then once I'm done with those I'm gonna give them away to uh, whoever anybody who has supported me in my charity I have your order numbers uh, on their website I can look at your order numbers I can't see any personal information I don't know who you are I can just see your order number and that's pretty much it but uh, once I see your order numbers I'm gonna randomly pick order numbers and I'm gonna display them uh, in my Facebook group I'll display them in a video here on my channel and then I'm gonna use those order numbers to people who supported me and I'm gonna give away the free quads that I got to whoever wants them so um, but just to let you know that there are some uh, upcoming videos with some unknown quads that they're gonna send me for review and uh, then once I'm done with them I'm gonna pass them along so uh, I think I've gone on long enough. Uh, I've got, I've said all I really need to say about the Zeno. Um, there's again nothing extremely hard about shooting this video except for flying through the bridge. It was like trying to fly fly a 501 in manual mode uh, through that bridge, and you'll see it in the footage, I'm sure. Going under the bridge wasn't that hard. Uh, going over the bridge was only hard because I, at, for a period of time it was out of line of sight and I was a little unsure with my depth perception on the FBB. So uh, that's it. And um, I just want to give, give one shout out. As I was driving on the way over here, I had a video call with Matty Dredge. Uh, he's been a long time uh, member of mine in one of my groups. And uh, I think you subscribe to my channel, Matty. I hope you do. Um, but I um, uh, had a real nice conversation with him, almost talked for about an hour. He just bought a uh, Mavic Flymore, a Mavic Pro Flymore package uh, off of my Banggood link, which was a really good deal, and uh, put money towards my charity. And um, hopefully he gets me up to that $1,000 mark with that one uh, once I go home and check the commission rate. And... Um, I just want to give him a shout out and say, Maddie, it was really nice actually seeing you and speaking with you and not sitting there on a computer talking to you. And um, hopefully, I <laughs> hopefully I am a little more uh, energetic in my video than I am in some of the other ones. So tell your girlfriend uh, or show your vi girlfriend this video. I don't know her name. I apologize, but uh, hello, Maddie's girlfriend. And uh, for those of you who do not subscribe to my channel, please do. For all of you that do subscribe, thank you very much. Hit that thumbs up button. Um, I'm out here earning those thumbs up, I'll tell you that. So uh, hopefully um, you'll give me that thumbs up and uh, help my algorithm and help my videos climb up and um, show up whenever people are searching. So uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and happy flying.